Hello everyone, what's going on? My name is Rygos Pop, and welcome back to yet another horror movie collection video. So, recently I have 600, so let's begin. We'll start off with the first self, the one that started it all. First up is the free movie action thrill packs, in which I'm only just going to highlight World War, Z, World War C, so do not, do, do not ask me about Deep Impact or Super 8. I just don't find them to be horror enough. Next up is the five film horroring horror collection. Which has the Exorcist, Hidden, the main series of It, and the remakes of Friday the 13th and Texas Chainsaw. Eight classic horror collection. Which has the Faculty from Dusk Till Dawn, Immortality, Castle Freak, Reflecting Skin, Subspecies, The Prophecy, and Dracula 2000. Followed by the 15 big box of horror set, which has a lot of these unknown movies, but the only ones I've seen are, but the only ones I see are Prom Nights 1 and 2. So, <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good reason. All by 28 Days Later, the A24 Horror 5 Film Collection, which has Hereditary, X, The Witch, Green Room, and It Comes at Night. I'm just happy I was able to upgrade this to Blu-ray. So, yeah. Next up is the ABCs of Death. I am quite bewildered by the segments. <laughs> come on, let's get... Let's... Come on. Next up is the Alien 6 Film Pack, followed by the two... Come on. Crying out loud. Crying out loud. Next up is, come on, Alien vs. Predator Double Feature Pack. Followed by All Hall's Eve. A fun prequel to Terrifier. Alright, let's get these movies back. Down over here. Followed by American Psycho, a classic. Followed by Army of Darkness, I consider this to be a, a, con a conclusion to the Evil Dead series. Next up is The Babadook, The Banishing, Behind the Masks, The Rise of Leslie Vernon, Black Friday, The Black Phone, Blood Quantum, a good Shutter Zombie movie. Next up is Bodies, 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 The Gen C Counterpart of Scream, followed by The Burning, The Brain. Brightburn, a fun superhero horror movie. Like a what if story, like what if Superman was evil as a kid. Next up is Cabin in the Woods, one of my favorite, my personal favorite. Followed by K-Man 2 film pack, which has the original and the requel. Carrie Free film pack and the two film pack with the remake. Followed by the by the entire Chucky saga. Christmas Blade Christmas, a good Christmas horror movie with a robotic Santa. Followed by the collection. Uh, sorry, sorry. I mean the collector and the collection. <laughs> followed by the Conjuring Universe. Countdown. Critters 1 through 4. Dead Silence. The Deep Blue Sea Trilogy. The Demonic Toys Free Film Pack, in which I'm only highlighting the original film and the crossover of Dollman. So I'm not going to go into Dollman because that's not horror. Next up is The Dentist 2 Film Pack. Doctor Sleep in the Shining 2 film pack. Here's Johnny. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Don't Breathe 1 and 2. Escape Room in its sequel, Tournament of Champions. The Evil Dead, which I got on a steel book. Evil Dead 2. Final Destination 5 film collection. And the original Firestarter with Drew Barrymore. Next up is the remake. Followed by Fry. Followed by Friday the 13th 8 film pack, which was basically the original to Jason Takes Manhattan. Then the remake, which is the killer cut. Fright Night. The Fun House Massacre with Clint Howard and Robert England. Ghostbusters 1, 2, and Afterlife. 2014's Godzilla. And the free film pack with King Kong. Followed by a two film pack with Gremlins and Goonies, in which I'm only highlighting Gremlins. Don't ask me about Goonies. And Gremlins 2. Although, I might consider getting an upgrade on both Gremlins 1 and 2 on a double feature pack. So, yeah. Next up is Halloween, my all, one of my favorite franchises. Followed by its sequels, which is Halloween's 2 and 3. Followed by 4. 5. Curse H2O and Resurrection. The Unrated Director's Cut of the Remake by Rob Zombie. Hence, 2009 sequel. Halloween 2018. Followed by Halloween Kills. And Halloween Ends. Next up is Hellboy, Hellboy 2 to go on Army, and the 2019 reboot. Followed by Hellfest, 
Hellraiser's Free Fruit 8, Hide and Seek with Robert De Niro, Hostel 1 and 2, and Hostel 3. All by the Last Summer Trilogy, which is basically, I know what you did last summer, I still know, and the god-awful, I'll always know what you did last summer. That movie sucks. And which I highly do not recommend that film. All by the modern adaptation of The Invisible Man, Insidious 1 through 4, because the fifth film is on its way. It 1, 2, followed by Jaws. And all the Jaws sequels, which has Jaws 2, I've seen that. Jaws 3, which is pretty bad. And the even, even terrible Jaws to Revenge. Followed by Jeepers Creepers 1, 2, Jeepers Creepers 3, and Jeepers Creepers Reborn. The Jordan Peele Free Film Collection, which has No Bus and Get Out. Followed by the entire Jurassic World saga, I mean the collection, which has Jurassic Park, The Lost World, Jurassic Park Free, Jurassic World, Fall by Fallen Kingdom and Dominion, the Killjoy Trilogy, Killer Clowns Mirror Space, King Kong Triple Feature Pack, followed by Krampus, The Lair, and all the Leprechaun movies. Because there's an there's another film by Daryl and Belsman coming, so yeah. Next up is Let Me In with Chloe Grace Moretz, The Lost Boys Trilogy, The Meg, The Meg, Mimic Trilogy, Morbius, It's Morbin Time, Mortal Kombat, Triple Feature Pack, and the 2021 reboot, the original My Blood Valentine, and its 2009 3D remake, A Nightmare on Elm Street 8 film collection, and the 2010 remake with Jackie Yolo Haley. Now, I am not a fan of the remake, so yeah. Next up is M. Night Shyamalan 4 film collection, which has Old, The Visits, Blood and Glass. I've seen Old, and I'm quite surprised by it. Followed by Old Man, starring Stephen Lang, a.k.a. Norman Nordstrom from Don't Breathe. Pearl, a prequel to X. Pet Cemetery 2 film pack, which has the original and the remake. Phantasm 5 film collection. Pieces. Poltergeist 1, 2, and 3. And the remake. Predator 4 Film Collection, The Purge and the Purge Anarchy, all by the Election Year and the First Purge and the Forever Purge, Puppet, Ma Puppet Master 9 Film Collection, and its remake, I mean reboot, The Lil is Reich, Prisoners of the Ghostland starring Nicolas Cage, PG Psycho Gorman, one of my favorites, Psycho, a classic, A Quiet Place, and Part 2, Resident Evil 6 Film Collection, Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City. The Rocky Horror Picture Show, a, a classic. Followed by Rob Zombie's Firefly Trilogy. Rosemary's Baby. The Saw 9 Film Collection, which has the first seven films. Followed by Jigsaw and Spiral. So yeah, a 10 films on its way, so might as well see that. Along with the Finders of, along with the Finders of Ray's movie. Followed by Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Scary Movies 1, 2, and 3. Next up is the Scream series, in which I have the first three Scream films, aka the original trilogy, followed by Scream 4 and Scream 5. Or 5 Cream, in which that's what the fifth film would have been called, followed by Shaun of the Dead, The Strangers 1 2, because the third film's on its way, Stephen King's fourth film collection, which has The Dead Zone by David Cronenberg, Pet Cemetery, Silver Bullet, and Graveyard Shift, and of course, Smile. That movie's just creepy as hell. Next up is Slashback. Sleepy Hollow by Tim Burton. Silent Hill. Silent Hill Re Revelations. Silent Night, Daily Night. A good controversial Christmas slasher film. Followed by Silent Night, Daily Night 3, 4, and 5. And Silent Night. Studio 666. Starring the Foo Fighters. Spawn. Spiral. Not the Saw film. This is the Shutter film. Followed by Spookies. Terrifier and Terrifier 2. Terror Time Sun Collection, which has The Cabin in the Woods, It Follows You Next, Possession, Cabin Fever, The Last Exorcism, Last Exorcism, Sinister, Haunting Connecticut, Leatherface, and Descent. Followed by Terror Train with Jamie Lee Curtis, The Original, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Followed by a sequel, then the remake, prequel to the remake, and the direct sequel to the original. Followed by Day Live in the Gray. Followed by The Toxic Avenger, my number one favorite horror movie franchise. I actually enjoy it, and I've seen it twice. 
by far it's actually very very good not bad for a first time watching a trauma movie followed by toxic avenger part two i gone down to watching it and free the last temptation of toxie however i'm planning on getting says and toxie soon and later this week followed by the tremor seven film collection trick or treat a good halloween horror movie Followed by Unbreakable, the one that started all, which kicked off the East Row 177 trilogy. Underwater, based on the Cthulhu Mythos. Underworld Five Film Collection with Kate Beckinsale. Unfriended and Unfriended Dark Web. All the Universal Monsters, which has Dracula, Frankenstein, the Wolfman, the Invisible Man, the Mummy, and the Bride of Frankenstein. Followed by Urban Legend. Urban Legend 2, or Urban Legends of Final Cut. And Bloody Mary. Followed by Van Helsing, starring Hugh Jackman and Kate Beckinsale. Venom 1 and 2, which is basically Venom with the Big Carnage. VHS, VHS 2, 94. Wes Craven's Dracula Collection, which is basically a trilogy, which has the original Dracula 2000, Ascension, and, and Third Legacy. Followed by Willy's Wonderland, starring Nicolas Cage. And yes, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie is finally on its way in October. Followed by Wishmasters 1 and 2, Wolf Creek, and Zombieland. Okay, next up is the second shelf. Let's, let's go to that. <clears throat> okay, second shelf. I have Freddy Days of Night, followed by 976 Evil by Robert England, a.k.a. Freddy Krueger himself. 1408 with John Cusick and Samuel L. Jackson. Four film Thrills and Shills collection, which has Frankenfish, Lake Pleasant Free, Loch Ness Tower, and Piranha 2 is spawning. I've seen Lake Pleasant Free, and I'm quite bewildered by all the CGI sharks. Followed by a four film horror collection, which has Slitter, Altered, Cry Wolf, and The Return. Slitter by James Gunn. Followed by a four film collection, which has these four movies Hoboken Hollow, Secrets of the Clown, Room Fairy Free, and Curtains. Followed by a Midnight Horror Pack, which has Deadly Legends. And for some reason, Puppet Master 3 is on there, so I'm not going to bother. Followed by another one, which has a lot of low-budget crap. But I did see Evil Bong 2, King Bong, and, and I was left bewildered, and it's just bonkers. No pun intended. Next up is the A Film Collection, which has Waxwork, 976 Evil 2, Ghoulies 3, Chud 2, Class of 1999, Slaughter High, The Unholy, and Chopping Mall. Followed by Lake Dead. Yeah, you can see a trend going, which is eight films to die for. So this is part of After Dark Horror Fest. After that, we have Dark Ride, The Depths of Ian Stone, The Grave Dancers, The Abandoned, Nightmare Man, Unrest, and Crazy Eights, which has George Newborn, a.k.a. the voice of Superman and Sephiroth. Followed by a ten-film collection, which is Pretty Dead, which has Bunny Man, The Lights, Monsters in the Woods, you name it. Followed by Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter, the original Amityville Horror, and its 2005 remake with Ryan Reynolds, Anaconda, and Anaconda's Trail of the Hunt for the Blood Orchid, Apollo 18, which is basically The Blair Witch Project meets Alien, The Barge People, Better Watch Out, a good Australian Christmas horror film, followed by The Bell Kill Experiment, directed by Greg McLean, the guy who directed Wolf Creek, followed by the Blade Trilogy and the one season of the TV show. The Blair Witch Project, The Butterfly Effect 1 and 2, and Free. Followed by The Bye Bye Man, Crawl, The Crazies, The Cellar. <sighs> followed by the remake of Child's Play. I'm not really a fan of, but it has Mark Hamill. So aiming with Mark Hamill, I'll give it a watch. Looking at you, Star Wars trilogy followed by the original children of the corn starring peter horton followed by creature from the black lagoon followed by creep show creep show 2 and free followed by cube the cursed dark obsessions four film collection which has the boy next door curb endless love and fear death proof by quentin tarantino Bram Stoker's Dracula by Francis Ford Coppola, Dying Darko, and S. and S. Darko, a Dying Darko tale. Do you want to know a secret with Joey Lawrence? Blumhouse's Fantasy Island. I have not seen the show. Fatal of Mike Coulter, aka Luke Cage. Fear.com. Freaky. 
Frogs, The Fun House, The Gallows, Ghost Ship, Glorious, Happy Death Day 2, The Happening by M. Night Shyamalan and starring Mark Wahlberg, Hatching, Hellraisers 1 and 2, The Remake of House of Wax, Infinity Pool, The Invitation, Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday, Jason X, Joyrides 1 and 2, Joyride 3, and The Killing Gene with Tom Hardy. Oh, oh. Okay, next row. I have Love and Monsters starring Dylan O'Brien, followed by the insanely popular Megan, followed by Malignant, Mandrake, Mandy starring Nicolas Cage, Maximum Overdrive, The Menu starring Ralph Fenez and Anya Taylor-Joy, so yeah, followed by The Mummy Collection, which has the first three films of Brandon Fraser and The Scorpion King with The Rock, Nature of the Beast starring Eric Roberts and Lance Henriksen, George A. Romero's classic Night of the Living Dead, followed by The Ninth Gate starring Johnny Depp, The Omen Collection, which has the first three films in the remake, Paranormal Activity 1 through 6, and Next of Kin, Phantom of the Opera, Pray for the Devil, the Prophecy 5 Film Collection, Pumpkinhead, Pumpkin Carver, The Puppet Masters of Donald Sutherland, Reanimator, The Requin, Rest Stop 1 2, The Ruins, Sasquatch, Season of Witch starring Nicolas Cage, Chain and Sino Evil because I'm actually a fan of WWE, Shredder, Shudder, Signs, Sound Hell, starring Elizabeth Olsen, The Silence of the Lambs, The Sixth Sense with Bruce Willis and Haley Joe Osmond, The Skeleton Key, The Skulls 1 2. Final row. I have The Skulls 3, Slap Face, Slayers, The Awful Slenderman movie, The Slumber Party Massacre, Soul Survivors the Killer Cut with Casey Affleck, Wes Bentley, and Luke Cage. Sorority Row, a fun slasher, followed by Species, Species 2, 3, and The Awakening. Stay Alive, or pretty much you die in a video game, you die in real life. Steel Trap, Stigmata, starring Patricia Arquette, Storm Warning, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I believe I got this with because it has Tony Todd in it, that's a good reason why. Subspecies 2, Bloodstone. Tales from the Hood. Tales from the Hood 2 because it has Keith David, a.k.a. Frickin' Spawn. And 3 with, of course, Tony Todd himself. All by The Thing by John Carpenter. 13 Ghosts with Matthew Lillard. Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Train to Busan. The Tripper by David Arquette. Vacancy with Luke Wilson. Vacancy 2, The First Cut. Victor Crowley. The Village. What Lies Beneath, starring Harrison Ford and Michelle Pfeiffer, Wishmasters 3 and 4, Wrong Turns 1 through 5, and The Reboot, and The Zombie Diaries. So that's about 600 movies. But anyways, okay guys, so that's it for this collection video. So what do you think of my massive collection of over of 600 movies? Well, it will be 601 when I get Sizz and Toxie soon. Until then guys, I'll see you all next time in the future collection video. Also, leave a comment on which movie within my collection do you like the most. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, guys. Peace.